Hi everybody, this is Pixie Willows and we are back in The Sims 4. I am showing you in this video some quick and easy ways on how to make your sim happy or to remove negative moodlets um, by doing things in the game versus, uh, you know, long drawn out processes. So the first thing is, is regardless if your character or your sim is an animal, has the animal lover trait or not, Animals are one of the fastest ways to remove negative moodlets or to make them happy or to give them fun and socialization. So what we're going to do here is I just started the game and this character or Sam is Angie Brand. I chose her from the pre-made uh, Sims that you can get in your own gallery. And this is King. He's a Rhodesian Ridgeback. So what we're going to do here is see she's just got regular I'm fine, there's nothing special. Uh, a sim that is fine isn't feeling particularly strongly in one way or the other. Go try out some stuff and see what happens. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is we are going to, where is it, play. This this button right here, playing with your pet, will give them social and fun. And it also builds a relationship. Okay, see now she's happy. She's also happy because she's outside. So this makes the dog happy or your cat happy also. <laughs> so I'll show you here. You see how the fun it's going up. No Rebo. Now social okay. will go up more as the more they interact with the pet, the more the relationship um, progresses. See, now her social just went up. Okay. So before we go any further, I need to make sure I remember to turn off. No trespassing. Disallow the welcome wagon. And in case you didn't know this, and I know I say it in most of the, the videos I do for The Sims, this is now available. It became available, I believe, somewhere around when the um, Eco Living came out. So whether it came with it or as a preparation before or after, um, you can now disallow solicitors, which is the welcome wagon, or like if you're in Sulani, um, you know, when they come over and they bring food, um, things like that. Disallow vampires. Now, um, if you don't want, uh, let's say, um, Vlad coming over and uh, biting your character in the middle of the night, well, disallow vampires. If you don't like the vampires showing up, knocking on the door, disallow vampires, etc., etc. Okay? We just disallowed the welcome wagon. Now, another thing that dictates, um, you know, them becoming happy quickly or not is the traits that you give them when you start the game, okay? Um, there we go. I gave her, just for an example, uh, she's a foodie, she's creative, and she loves the outdoors. Typically, I don't give more than, like, one... Um, creative or like they like to do men, you know, mind things like, you know, logic or um, let's say sports or loves outdoors. Um, I don't give those particular things more than one per sim because uh, they could be quite whiny. They could be, well, I mean, it's, it's simulated life, right? So if you get total enjoyment out of those things and you're not consistently doing them, if you're wrapped up in something else or in another sim in your household, then this sim will, will become unhappy. But for the sake of this video, I, I gave them a few extra um you know, things that I normally wouldn't do just so I can give you examples. So the next example is she loves outdoors. Clearly she's happy because, see, she's also happy from loves outdoors. Fresh air, sims that love outdoors love being outside. So let's say she was tense. You're starting out, you have not put, you don't have any, any points to put in the reward store, you know, and the reward store is really awesome. Um, by the way, if you didn't have any of the traits like I just showed you on your sim, one fabulous one, and it doesn't take that much to get, is gym rats, build fun, 
when they're at the gym while exercising they don't lose hygiene so basically they're not going to within within 30 seconds of your play um, they're not going to need a shower and they're going to become happy from jogging from uh, working out of machines from going to the gym um, but also the reason why I didn't give her the, the uh, exercise or sports, love sports kind of thing trait is because if you give them the outdoor one, well, you can kind of kill two birds with one stone, so to speak. And um, basically, here we go. We are going to, let's see, more choices, pet care, go on a walk. We're going to go for a jog. So basically, she loves outdoors, so she's going to want to take him for a jog. She's going to want to work out a little bit. So it's kind of like having the active trait and, um, you know, uh, this at the same time. So now this is done another way to make your pet happy and your sim happy. So you're kind of, you know, you're doing both of, uh, you know, the pet and the sim at the same time, so neither one are happy. Unhappy, I mean. <laughs> Neither one are happy. What? <laughs> this is all about making them happy. Um, and, you know, you really want to make sure that your pet is uh, not constant, constant, constantly taken care of, but they are somewhat happy because they will run away. They will come back, I'm pretty sure. I've only had one run away one time. That's when I first started playing and I had my character or my sim um, because she became pregnant and the dog got jealous and ran away, but it did come back. So uh, let me make sure he has food while we do the rest of that. She's still out there jogging. We could be following them, but I need to, to make sure I'm going to... Um, make sure he has food and also there's another thing I want to show you in here um, when you go into build mode on your home uh, there are things you can do to make sure that they become happy uh, I you know bracing breezes you know if if they if you want your character to, to to be active well that may be a trait that you want to put on there um, let's see now she's a foodie so we're gonna give her homie um, She's creative. We're not going to do home studio. We're going to do natural light. Basically, uh, you know, I'm going to show you about painting. I showed you how to make the, you know, one of the top money makers in the game for your sim while painting is one of them. But it also, if they're creative, makes them happy. Peace and quiet. I put this on every single one of my households um, for several reasons. And one of them is, if you read it, something about this lot makes it great for reading. Sims understand more so they gain skill faster from reading. And tense moods go away faster. There's your two reasons to want to put peace and quiet on your household, especially, you know, when you're starting out in a new playthrough, you know, with a fresh sim that doesn't have rewards and aspiration traits type thing. Okay. So we need to make sure the dog has a dog bowl. And let's see, how much is that? 240 simoleons. Heck yeah, baby. It's worth it for the pooch. So we're going to put that back here. Tiny little kitchen. This is one of the houses that you can pick in Sulani. Um, we're going to give him a toy box. We'll put this outside. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That way he's doing stuff when I am showing you other things. I need to... You also need to make sure, just I need to make sure, but w w when you start out, especially with that uh, trait that I just showed you on the house, um, wow, okay, that, um, oh, that's wrong, sorry, that you have a bookcase, okay, and she's a foodie, so you definitely need to make sure she has a stove and um, a TV. We'll give her a small TV because they can... Um, you know, uh, let's see, 275. No, she can afford this one. We'll do this one. Um, and we need, we could have done um, a bookshelf TV combo, but, 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 but. Let's go ahead and we'll select you. Uh, well, just doesn't, the color doesn't even matter right now. And we are going to... 
add, since she's creative, hobbies and skills. Come on. This might be another way to show you, a better way to show you. If you go down to objects by function, this takes a second to open, so I apologize, especially in the PlayStation 4. <laughs> and that is what I'm playing from, the PlayStation 4. Um, and uh, yeah, not complaining, just saying. Sometimes it takes longer. Okay, so activities and skills right here. And now it's separated. This is knowledge-based things. This is creative-based things, which we're going to choose from her. Recreation, active. So if you have an active sim, skim. If you have an active sim, then this is what you would choose. If you want to do outdoor activities, which she loves outdoors, you know, you could pick um, any any of the things in here, like you know, beekeeping, the insects. Um, you know, planting plants. And again, you know, I, I've said it before in another video, you don't have to use a garden planter box. Um, it gives you benefit to your gardening skill. Um, another thing that's really cool is Patchy. You know, he gives you socialization um, after a point beyond, and, uh, you know, you get seeds from him and he'll actually fertilize. I think he fertilizes um, and tends your your garden also that way if you went to work and, and you know with your sim and or you went somewhere with your sim um, He'll actually take care of it for you uh, Okay So let's go back over to creative. She is a creative sim. So this is all the different things um, that you can do well, let's give her the the nifty knitting which I haven't even um, played that yet uh, we'll Put that there and then um, we will give her painting. Um, we'll just put that in her hallway. Because <laughs> this is a small house. So these are all the other things um, that, that is considered creative that your sim, if they're creative, would find enjoyment from. Flower arranging, um, singing, comedy, uh, you know, um, photography, candle making, uh, becoming a DJ. Um, juice fizzing, it's endless, uh, you know, the things that you can do if you have a creative sim. You just need to make sure that you are always doing, not always, I don't mean like through your entire playthrough, but um, you'll learn the pattern when they become unhappy. Just make sure that if you are a creative, you have a creative sim, that um, occasionally you are doing that for them because otherwise they will become unhappy. And as this is a how to make your sim happy video, quickly um, that's number one you know make sure you do something with them that's creative or whatever the trait you gave them um, on occasion you know so she is still jogging with him with King so I am fast forwarding and uh, when she comes back she is going to need to fill this fill okay She's probably already sore because this is her first time job. Oh, it's the heat. Okay. Yeah, I started this in summertime. I didn't think about that. So she's going to have to fill that and then take a shower. Um, go home. Yeah, she's gone home. Come on. See, now she's unhappy. <laughs> and I made a video. I'm making the video about how to make them happy. Well, okay, now we are unhappy. We are unhappy campers. Go home. Come on. Go here. All right, so what you need to do now, fill that. He needs food. We don't want them to take him away, and we don't want him starving or him becoming unhappy. Fortunately, dogs are not affected by the seasons. One thing you can do also, if you don't like them being affected by the seasons and you have seasons, you can turn it off, uh, the, the one thing, them being affected by it. So she filled that, and I'm going to have her tell him where his food is. I know, I'm sorry. I'm so very sorry that I did that to you. Okay. Now, she needs to take a shower. Clearly, she's stinky now, if you see this, and you've never played before. That means she desperately needs a shower. She is filthy. 
this will actually make her happy or, or tend to, um, with her being this unhappy, we'll see, uh, see how the arrows are pointing downward with, with a green arrows. That means that we're taking away those negative moodlets. Sometimes it takes, um, some effort, uh, you know, and again, she could play with the dog. If you have a child, I wouldn't recommend, um, uh, you know, bringing a child into the household, even in Sims, if that's your only reason is to make them happy because they take, um, a lot of care, even in the Sims. So, uh, that is something you would need to weigh heavily before you did. Okay. We got rid of the grunginess. She's still showering until you upgrade your showers and things like that. Um, it does take somewhat longer. Let's just go ahead and tell her to get out. So you can click on it on the PlayStation 4. You put the arrow on there and press X, or you can press a triangle and it says it cancels the, uh, the thing that you're doing. So now um, she's a little miserable, so we're not going to have her do anything but come over here. And since she's a foodie, one of the things you can do, um, watch channel, watch cooking show for ideas. So this basically is win-win. She's watching something that she totally enjoys, and she is gaining skill from watching it and you heard that that means the skill has started and um, if we go over oops now she has to go to the bathroom this is starting out in the Sims everybody knows this so see how her fun is going up so she has no need for fun because this is what she considers fun so now <laughs> I thought this was going to be over with pretty quickly. I thought this was going to be a quick video. So now she acquired the cooking skill. We're going to have her turn this on. They can die from heat. So we need to turn it on cooler. She'll become a little bit happier now. Oh, the dog is obsessed with something. What is it? The TV? Is it the TV? See, that's what I... And you hear that noise. Pet obsessions. Yep. Okay. So what we're going to do now is um, go over and have her cook so I can show you that they like cooking also when they are a foodie. Grilled cheese. Single serving. <laughs> See, now she's happy. We turn the AC on and the homing trait makes them happy. See, that's the thing. Depending on what trait you give them and what traits they have in the home dictates how quickly they become happy. And it has to do with moodlets. So here she is. She's a foodie. She just watched TV. She turned the AC on and now she's cooking. She couldn't be happier. You see the smiley face? That's refreshing air conditioning. And then sometimes there'll be an additional smiley face right next to it. And it'll say that she is a, um, uh, that basically you're, you're doing well with her. She's a well-kept sim. She's been made quite happy. So now she's going to eat some, and that's one of the things, you know, um, I've noticed even when you tell them that, 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 that you don't want them to have free will, that you want to tell them what to do, they'll still take the food half the time. They'll still do a lot of things half the time. Um, but you know, that's the Sims. What can you say or do? So we're going to have her put that down. I don't think she's that hungry. I need for her to, uh, for us to continue our little journey here. She needs social. So again, we're going to go out and we are going to socialize with the dog. If you have plants and the planting is at a certain um, point, uh, you know, you can talk to your plant. Um, hug. And let's see. Play. All right, so. If you look over here, she's getting fun. She's getting a little bit of social, see? So this is ways to, instead of having to go out and do things, or like, you know, make friends with um, someone who came in the welcome um, wagon uh, that you don't want to be friends with, but they're, you know, they're a friend already. Uh, you don't have to go do things with them. Oh, <laughs> 
Okay. I'm not gonna tell her to stop. Other thing, one, oh, we don't have, is video games. Basically, if you had a, a laptop or a computer, you would have your sim play a video game, and that would, like, that is, like, three times the fun. Music. Have them dance to music, depending on which radio that you buy. It dictates when it says fun uh, one, fun two, fun four, uh, fun eight. Um, that dictates how quickly, you know, like one times as fast, two times as fast, four times as fast, eight times as fast. You know, the higher that fun number is, the faster they gain fun and they're not upset or unhappy or tense. Um, you know, uh, if they're tense, if you have a tub, you can have them take a bubble bath and that'll really remove that mood. Um, we'll have, if they're tense and you have them read a book and you have that, uh, you know, the trade on your house or if they are a, a bookworm, um, that'll remove it quickly. Another thing that you can do by having that trade on your house and it removes tense moods, you have, um, they learn skills faster, have them read skill books. I mean, that's even better than having them stand in a mirror or getting, gaining comedy skill or charisma. You can have them sit and read a book, removing tense moves, gaining skill. It's win, win, win. So that is my video. Remember to smack that like button. Ring the bell to get notifications when I put out new videos. I have also um, Final Fantasy XIV online videos. I also have Ark Survival Evolve videos. Yes, I am shamelessly plugging my videos. But, um, and remember to subscribe. Please subscribe. And, um, you know, have a great day. Play it and play your life.